Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can start making money on LinkedIn. Obviously, there are millions of videos on how you can make money on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, Twitter, but what about LinkedIn? I mean, it's a social media network too. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start talking about ways that you can make money on LinkedIn. So the very first and probably the most straightforward way that you can make money on LinkedIn is through advertising your products and services. So when it comes to services, there's actually a LinkedIn service page that you can create in your profile. So you can pretty much start sharing, you know, the types of services that you provide. In my case, I provide a lot of resume writing services, interview coaching services, career coaching services. So I both have my website linked on my profile, but I also have the link to my service page where I list exactly the types of services that I offer, which again, you can do it both ways, but with LinkedIn, it's a little bit more straightforward and you actually get discovered more easily when somebody is looking for professionals that provide the type of service that you provide. I've been actually getting a lot of messages from people saying that they found me via my service page and would like to purchase my services. So the service page has converted into paid clients for me several times, which is great. Now, I personally haven't seen a lot of people selling physical products on LinkedIn. LinkedIn, but I haven't seen everything. I mean, I feel like with the nature of LinkedIn, it's not as common for people to sell physical products, but again, everything is possible. So if you are aware of any of those um, examples, let me know in the comments down below. So the next way that you can make money on LinkedIn is through brand deals. This goes back to more of that traditional like social media influencer source of income. The reason why I think this one is really unique and a great opportunity is because unlike Facebook, Twitter, and especially Instagram, LinkedIn is far less saturated, meaning that there's a lot more opportunity for people to build an audience and to monetize the audience on LinkedIn. So since LinkedIn is more of a business and network type of platform. The majority of the companies they're going to be willing to sponsor would be, you know, some business oriented companies or a lot of like hiring and HR. So I recently landed my very first brand deal on LinkedIn and it was from HiRect, which is a chat based recruiting platform. So I definitely wouldn't consider myself like a big social media influencer at this time, but I do have roughly 10,000 followers on LinkedIn. And again, it might not seem like a lot of followers compared to you know some other social media platforms but i would very much so say that from my experience people who are following me on linkedin are very loyal and very interested in what i have to say just because you know i do work in recruiting for a very big tech company and i do career coaching so my personal brand is very clear on linkedin i do specialize in working with a lot of creative people so i do feel like i definitely build like a very specific audience for my niche uh, which has really helped me to, you know, also sell my other products and services. So I was really excited when that company had uh, reached out to me because, you know, I always wanted to land some brand deals. Obviously, since I do care about my professional reputation, since it took me years to build this reputation, and sometimes it can only take one bad post or one bad statement for you to completely ruin your reputation, I did do research on the product. I did kind of do a lot of digging on the product and tried it myself before I felt comfortable promoting it. But I did do two posts and I got paid two separate fees for each one of those posts promoting. And also a quick reminder that if you are enjoying this video so far and want to see more videos about personal finance and personal development, please make sure to hit that subscribe button or at least hit that like button because when you hit the like button, it tells the YouTube algorithm that this girl, Christina, is making good videos and that more people should see my videos. So in other words, it really helps me. So yeah, go hit that like button. So the next tip on my list is building your email list. Now, again, if you have been in that entrepreneurial or influencer space for a while, you probably aware of the power of email lists. There are different ways that you can build an email list on LinkedIn. You can always offer like a free product or a free service. You can start offering, you know, different freebies to encourage people to sign up for your email list. You can also just straight up ask people to sign up for your email list. You can create a webinar or like a presentation or a live event covering the topic that you know your audience is interested in and kind of use that to collect emails. Again, there are different ways that you can start building an email list on LinkedIn. It's just that not a lot of people think of LinkedIn when they are trying to build an email list, but I highly encourage you to consider this as um, a platform with 
a lot of opportunity. This next source of income that you can make on LinkedIn that not a lot of people think about and a lot of people look over is referral bonuses. Obviously, LinkedIn is like the mecca for recruiters just like myself who are constantly looking to engage with candidates or looking for talent. Um, so, you know, if you do have a press strong presence on LinkedIn, you probably have gotten a lot of messages from recruiters asking if you're open to opportunities or sometimes asking you if you know anybody who is looking for opportunities. So instead of declining those emails or ignoring them, I encourage you to think twice before completely ignoring those messages. Because, you know, if you know somebody who might be interested in this job, and especially if the recruiter who is reaching out to you um, works at a recruiting agency like headhunting or staffing agency, it's more than likely that those companies would offer referral bonuses. So meaning if you refer someone to them and they get the job and they get placed, you could get a referral bonus. So as somebody who is a recruiter and who used to work for a headhunting agency, I can tell you that some companies are willing to pay you from a few hundreds to sometimes thousands of dollars for quality referrals. So I really encourage you to respond to people and ask if they offer those and really think about your network and see who you can refer, help them find an opportunity and help those recruiters fill their roles. So the next way that you can make money on LinkedIn is through affiliate marketing. So let's say you're at the point where you don't have a huge audience and you're not yet a quote unquote LinkedIn influencer and don't have a ton of brand deals, but you do have products, services, or brands that you like to recommend to your audience and brands that you believe in, you can always start sharing affiliate links. So if you're not very familiar with affiliate marketing, the way it works is that a lot of companies have affiliate links to affiliate programs. And when you recommend certain products and services to your audience and they click on those links and make a purchase or sign up for certain subscriptions, you can get a small commission for referring those clients. So that's pretty much how affiliate marketing works. So like I mentioned before, when it comes to LinkedIn, you're probably going to see more success referring, you know, services or like software based types of products instead of physical products. But again, anything is possible. So in my instance, um, I do have an affiliate link to Skillshare on my LinkedIn channel. Um, Skillshare is a great learning platform and I think a lot of my audience will benefit from it. So I have my affiliate link shared there. I'm actually killing two birds with one stone because it's both my affiliate link and it's also linked to my online course. So every time when somebody goes on my page, they can see this link. If you're interested, they might click on it. And if they sign up for a subscription, I get a small commission, which is great. So another one that you can think of once again, you have really established your personal brand and you have a great audience and you do consider yourself a subject matter expert in a certain area, you can also potentially start getting speaking engagements. So for example, I have been reached out to multiple times by universities, boot camps, uh, different foundations inviting me to go and speak in front of an audience or record a webinar, sharing my experience and insights on like the recruiting market, like what does it take nowadays for people to get jobs, and those engagements can you know be anywhere from like 30 minutes to an hour um, I am also currently working with a company on creating kind of like a long webinar most of the times those companies would ask you for a specific rate um, definitely always make sure that you really learn more about like the project and the time commitment and you know how long it's going to take but um, I've been offered sometimes hundreds of dollars for like a one-hour presentation um, so that's definitely something that could be a great way for you to make make extra money and, you know, further build your personal brand. And again, you don't have to be a recruiter or HR person or anything like that to be able to land those deals. Just, you know, as long as you consider yourself a subject matter expert, let's say if you are a very successful like graphic designer, creative director and you, or um, like a marketing professional. And, you know, if you do feel like you are in the point of your career where you can really share a lot of experience with an audience, you can still land those speaking engagements because, you know, knowledge is power and you want to share your knowledge with other people and make good money with it. And last but not least, you can start making more money on LinkedIn by simply getting a better job. I think this is very obvious that LinkedIn was created for networking in the professional world. And a lot of people use LinkedIn to land better job, to network with employers, to connect with recruiters. And if you're not looking to make like passive income and just extra money and you just want to focus on your main job, 
There's obviously no better platform than just LinkedIn. I think that LinkedIn is one of the most convenient platforms for applying for jobs, for you know looking up, for generating leads, for connecting with employers. So make sure you take advantage of it and hopefully LinkedIn will help you to land your next dream job and help you to increase your income. Anyway, that is it from me today. I hope this video was helpful. If you've ever made money on LinkedIn, please let me know in the comments down below how it went, what are some of the steps that you took. If you have any questions, also let me know in the comments down below. And again, if you enjoy content about personal development and personal finance, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.